Are you guys having fun yet? Because I am. Cody puts one hand against the wall and stains up his legs front in the buckle. Something's wrong, he realized that he's tried desperately to get his thoughts in order. The bones are too small and there are too far too many of them. They aren't human. After taking several deep breaths to calm himself, Cody enters the bathroom and examines the tub. The bones are piled atop each other like fallen leaves. There would be from small animals, perhaps cats or dogs. Even so, the quantity is mind-boggling. How many binds would it take to produce this many bones? The bones have been separated from one another, so it doesn't look like the bot with like binds was thrown to the tub and left the rot. Each bone is covered with deep groves, marked up by teeth binding through flesh. Cody Sandler would have considered possibly that a human could have done this. The owner of this house must be kept some kind of carnivorous animal as a pet. Keep the bones of small animals to eat, and it's building the remains of the bathtub. But why not dispose of leftovers properly? It should have been thrown out with the garbage, or is something keeping them from leaving the house? The relief Koji felt when he realized the bones weren't humans once again under attack. In the first place, what the hell was Fuminori doing here? <laughs> Koji was around his light revealing Fuminori's expression with his face. <laughs> Fumiri pushes past Cody and looks at the bathtub. He doesn't even flinch the side of the bones. Cody not want to believe the old friend Fumiri could have contact with the with the den denizes? Denizes? Of this house. Oh, wait, her? Is he talking about Saya? <laughs> yeah, be like, here you go, Koji. It says, oh my god, a monster. Eats, her, eats him. Koji was running out of Fuminori. His heart's finally being normal again. Standing in the entrance, Fuminori glares coldly at Koji over his shoulder. The utter lack of motion in his eyes give Koji pause. <sighs> Koji falls. What can he say? <sighs> Fuminori walks away without another word, leaving Koji alone in the entrance. Up until this very moment, concern for a friend was still at the fore the forefront of his mind. Now, however, that concern is swiftly giving way to a growing sense of dread. The Fuminori no long he no longer exists? A person just stared Koji down and popped away Fuminori's skin? Koji has begun to believe that it might be so. What a nuisance. Why does he insist on interfering? If he only spoke if he only spoke when we exchanged pleasantries, even I could bear it. But now he's sick and known to binge to satisfy his curiosity. Cody is a perfect example of someone who thinks that it's always good to take an interest in other people's affairs. He probably thinks that he's doing me a favor of prying to my personal life. He couldn't be more wrong. If he keeps this up, I might be able to. I might have to find some way to deal with him. Like Saya said, I have to keep my search for Dr. Okai a secret. Cody could ruin everything. I didn't have time to fully investigate the Okai Redness today. I did for it, it'll probably take several days just to go through, his, through the study. Sai didn't believe that I'd find anything to help with the search, but I think there's a lot, a lot to explore. Who knows what I'll discover? Promise Koji. He knows about the house now. Will we make things difficult? The breaking a, sh a shudder. I put on a fake smile and turned to face the withering mass of rotten flesh that's staring down at me with bulging eyes. Ah, of course, this is my ignore namer, Suzumi, a middle aged painter, I think, who spends all day at home while his wife works. I haven't had much contact with him since the accident. Why are you so ain't talking to me now? Is it me or can he I can't understand like, okay, at the beginning I kinda could understand what they were saying. I knew they were speaking Japanese. Now it's kinda it's gotten worse, or that's just me. Like I don't know what he's saying that much. Okay, I'm just saying, from the dialogue, I don't think Fuminori even knows what dude. He doesn't know what Fuminori has no idea what he's saying. He's like, whatever. 
What is this? Did you just have to do Did you just stop me to deliver a lecture? The flesh beats on Dolch's family as though it has something to say, so I have it driving me close to the edge. Now I get it, he's worried that he inside my house might dim dim diminish the image of his own, damn snob. I fly the token smile and I'm free behind the safety of my gate. I can feel Sunori's eyes boring back boring to the back of the wall to the front door. Why won't anyone stay out of my life? I just want to live together with Saya alone where no one else can bother us. Suzumi Yosuke sighs and noise as he watches his neighbor boy retreat to his house. What was his attitude? Even while talking, kept his eyes averted, have to avoid looking at something repulsive. He's always had such an unpleasant. Has he always been such an unpleasant man? No, of course not. When his parents were still alive, he, he had been a normal youth, a little shy, but senses of caring. The unfamiliarity of living alone might cause him, might cause him, might be causing him to do stress. If continues, he might. Was it too late already? Yosuke wondered as he gazed warily at the Saki Saka yard. Saka Saka, yeah. Even during dinner, Yosuke can't shake the neighboring house from his mind. Mm. <laughs> The thing coming to like a house grows worth each day, and Sumizu family is at its wit's end. まさかとは思うが、生ゴミをそのまま庭に捨てているんじゃあるまいな。そんな、いくらなんでもそこまで。いや、今の様子だとやりかねん。一日中ずっと雨戸を閉め切って。Yes, he did. Okay, I just want to say this. They don't. I don't know why they don't put it in the text, but she said Onichan, and Onichan translate told her brother. So I don't. They never say it, but I, I, my personal belief is that Fuminori was like. He probably spent, you know, a lot of time with the little girl just to be like, just, you know, because he's bored. Well, not because he's bored. That might sound creepy. Just, just, you know, he just wants to be cool. He's like, whatever. Maybe he probably had to babysit a couple of times. So that's why she's all like, oni -chan. That or she just wants to be adorable little Wally. Sai is, nah. I don't know what to say about Sai. She, she cray cray. Yeah. The second, the second crawls by, each tick, each tick of the clock compounding my, ag my agony. When I turn from the yellow I read, I read my silent, empty house. So I have very much not living in any clue of whereabouts. It isn't rare for her to go out for walks at night. I often, I've often gone with her. However, such outlings always... Always take place in the middle of the night, whereas no one is around, and they watch for more than two hours. Right now it's five in the morning. Soon the sun will begin to show the first light of dawn. Even if she's left before, even if she left before I, before I returned, she's gone by for almost half a day. I can't sleep. I can only wait in anguish. I try to stab myself by painting more rooms, but I couldn't concentrate on the work. If I noticed what happened, I would have left the yoga house sooner. I wish I hadn't wasted time on Koji. If Sai doesn't return, does this fog makes me want to tear out my hair? After Zong's absence, the terror of true loneliness is much more the bear. At last, the cowbell chimes and Sai is long waited. Rings out from the bottom of the stairs. I jump out of my bed in relief, 
Archers have built up the knives released in a wave that threatens to sweep me off my feet. My question trails off I know the thick bundles of paper that she's carrying under her arms. Side has her bundle of the floor, seeing paper flying everywhere. Then pulls her favorite cushion over and claps into it, stretching luxuriously. Maybe just the exhaustion, but I'm not understanding a word Sai is saying. At first I think she's playing around, but, she, but the occasional mutters of And as she looks for separate photos in the, in the growling pile beside her makes me think that she might, this might not be a joke after all. She's a very smart 14 year old? I don't know. I can't tell if she's being serious. Watching more closely, I realize that her eyes are scanning each page rapidly. So rapidly, in fact, I'm able to notice it at first. Is it possible that Sai, a young girl, is actually reading my charts? Hmm? Sayan tells the side of the paper she was storing and weeps on me and begins to tear off my clothes. Wait, what? What are you guys doing? Contrary to appearance, Sai's outside for a sec but any adult to his shame. Couldn't even say it's a little unnat you could say it's a little unnatural. She's not just passionate, she's also a limited stamina, making me wonder what her slender body gets all the energy from. That sci-fi with it will let me feast on on her to my to my heart and Thank you, Fuminori. At least you have some morality. Somewhat for morality. Very little. You have very little. I know he cares, but I gotta say this. Are we really having this conversation? Really? She last play for it, she pushed me in the bed. The familiar sensation of her weight and skin rendering me helpless. To my time, it's not a complete or interest in safe sex. She doesn't just eschew protection. She even insists I... Surely she must know the risk. We don't mean that she wants to get. Why am I reading this? Like, why am I reading this? Are we really having this conversation? I'm going to respond to that. You if they did have kids, would they look like her or would. You see them as blob mo oh my god, a baby blob monster would be kinda gross actually. So I seem sure how to reply because she doesn't understand what I said, rather the the, the mood look on her face make it seem as so. I'm not the one getting it. By the time I break the spell of her a joke sale signs and um, oh my gosh. Nah, 
みのりが心配しないような方法でしてあげる。No, no, you, no, 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 hell no.